Blimey. <laughs> um, I feel so proud to have been part of this very brave and special play. So this is me really taking one for the team. So thank you to the Royal Court and the cast and the crew and Nina Rain and the magician that is Roger Michel. Um, thank you very, mu very, very much. <laughs> Michelle, uh, you gave a very touching uh, short speech there because uh, you, you are aware, of course, that this is, in a way, the most honored production about the hearing impaired since Children of a Lesser God. Yes, yeah. I what, what, I, yeah. In, in other words, uh, it came across as convincing and moving. Uh, I think when you get a subject matter like that, you have no choice but to go there and do that work because... I think it, we never really talked about it, but there was a definite sense of responsibility with this play, um, which was palpable in rehearsals. And yeah, it, you you just got to go there when you do it. The court's been having a good run uh, in the last couple of years. Uh, do you think that's because they are going to places that other theatres aren't? I think so, I and mean, I think, and they also get the coverage that other theatres don't. I mean, other theatres are doing brave work. It's just how much exposure they get for it. But yeah, I think certainly the court by their very nature they came into existence to do brave and new and refreshing work I think which is certainly what Nina Rain did with this intelligent play. Our audiences will want to know what does an award like this mean to a young actress like yourself? It means everything and you certainly don't go into it for recognition but it sure feels lovely when you get it. <laughs> um, yeah I was listening to Elaine Page's coverage this afternoon of the Olivier's and it's just, you, I've grown up with theatre, so it, it just means the world.